Saturdays spent in one place, surrounded by concrete. But the tradition of Auburn football is not just defined by a concrete stadium like Jordan Hare or even the green grass of Pat Dye Field. It can be defined by a green of a different sort. They symbolize victory. They symbolize elation. They symbolize triumph, joy, and pride. Auburn going after it. Here's a good snap. It is blocked! It is blocked! It's caught on the run! They symbolize winning. They symbolize championships. They symbolize Pat, Cam, and Bo. Jackson! Touchdown! They symbolize life. They symbolize memories. They symbolize wedding proposals, first baby pictures, and college decisions. They symbolize our state. They symbolize our game. They symbolize love, friends, and family. They symbolize tragedy. They symbolize senselessness. They symbolize life, death, and rebirth. The branches of these trees extend far beyond the edges of Toomer's Corner. They extend back to generations of Auburn fans linked together throughout the years as they watched their version of the Tigers, from Jordans to Malzahn's. Byron waits for the snap in the play. There it is. The kick is up. The kick is good. Auburn wins. This may be the final role for some of college football's most iconic symbols, but nothing can take away the memories, the victories, the glory, the happiness, the magic, the splendor, the rally cries of War Eagle, the miles and miles of toilet paper, and the meeting place after an Auburn win. This is the legacy of the Tumors Oaks.